Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the blood pressure inside of your duct system, also known as static pressure. And static pressure is something that we measure when we're going out to either diagnose an issue or before we replace an existing system, especially for heat pumps and air conditioners. And the biggest thing that we're looking for, we're looking for how restrictive that ductwork is. Because in an ideal system, we want to be able to move air freely and without restriction. So I've kind of drawn out a diagram here and basically we'll start over here. Over here we have our return air. So this is the air being brought back into the system to be reheated and redistributed throughout our supply duct system. Typically you're going to have one to two supply ducts or heat registers in each room. And so that's what this is showing here. And so when we talk about high static pressure, it's the same way we would talk about high blood pressure. And the heart of the system is typically this air handler right here. And also if we have an outdoor unit such as a heat pump or uh, an air conditioner, that could also be considered the heart of the unit, uh, the compressor. And so basically when we're really restricted on our duct system, when we can't move the amount of air that this system is designed to move, we end up hurting the mechanical components inside that system such as uh, blower motors or in the outdoor unit's case a compressor and those things are not cheap and so we tend to want to avoid these things so when we come out to a job and we're sizing a system for a house we're going to measure the static pressure in that system before we put a system in and we're going to correlate that to the charts that are provided by the manufacturer and that'll tell us whether or not we're going to fall within the given range that we need to fall in. And so things that can affect static pressure, just like blood pressure, if you think of our duct system as arteries, we don't want clogged arteries. If you clog an artery, your blood pressure goes up. So if we were to, uh, let's say, just put a restriction here in this supply line, all of a sudden our static pressure is going to go up on the system. Same as if we had a dirty filter here. That dirty filter in the return air is acting as a, as a restriction. It's like putting a wall inside your duct system. So all that air is being trapped on this side of the filter. This blower motor is having to work really, really hard because it can't grab enough air and move it through the duct system, and we're going to run into problems. And so generally this is why we tell you to change your filter often. And we don't want you to block off too many of your supply registers. Typically less than 10% is ideal for your house, depends house to house. But uh, that couch that's over your supply register, the supply registers that are closed off could be doing more harm than good to your heating and cooling system. And that is a general rundown of static pressure.